So in this game, I finally realized if you shell quick enough and come out of it while you're spinning around, you can take some of the fading school books and school supplies that she, she's, she drops around her. You can spin them around, and I think that's hilarious. Hey, what's up everyone? I had so much fun making this video. I've got five games for you guys here, and every game was so carefree and fun, and I really think you'll enjoy them all. Also, the last giveaway in June for 2,000 gems is running for a few more days. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to the channel and join the Discord, link in the description below, to react to the giveaway. A winner will be drawn a couple days before July, and then a new gems and crates giveaway will start right after as well. So I'm here with Ashleen, we're on Shelly, and these games are just absolutely hilarious. We're just having a good time trolling, running around, emoting at each other throughout all of them, and it was just so much fun. So I think she wanted me to go down there with her, but I knew the legendary guard was up here, so I brought her up here, and she seems pretty happy about it too. I'm using muscles on Shelly, so I'm trying to get these stacks up. It can be pretty difficult getting muscle stacks on Shelly because of how slow she is if you're not around a bunch of guards at the beginning. However, this legendary bow should be pretty helpful in getting some more stacks. Ashley's shooting at me right now, so we're shooting back and giving her the emotes, spear dashing each other. So we're building up some muscle stacks here late in this first game. I'm already pretty big. Look at Ashleen, she's so tiny. I'm almost at seven. Not that it matters, there's only a few people left in this game. But it's always hilarious seeing a giant Shelly walk around, especially with the legendary bow. I mean, look how big that thing is. So many barricades in this game as well. Actually insane how many barricades were in this game. That's the first game in the books. We're gonna hop right into the second game here, no slowing down. And unfortunately, the legendary guard is in a pretty isolated spot. There's nothing near him really. In that spot where he, where he started, you're not really gonna find any high quality weapons unless there are guards nearby in which they have a chance for gold. So I wanna start towards the middle, but I do wanna get that legendary at some point. Very important in duos these days to try and get the legendary whenever you can. So 
So in this game, I finally realized if you shell quick enough and come out of it while you're spinning around, you can take some of the fading school books and school supplies that she, she's, she drops around her. You can spin them around, and I think that's hilarious. What a shot on the Shelly. Getting blocked by Ashleen though. Although she does help me out. She thinks it's hilarious. She's like the queen of barricades. No doubt, queen of barricades. Wild Legendary has appeared. I don't know where my bow shot just went. And also, an Ollie and another Shelly have entered the game. Gotta love that knockback spear from Ollie. He can knock you back in the fire, and he'll knock himself back in the fire too. Everybody's having fun. So we're here in Barricade City again. Last two teams over here by the fountain. And that's gonna do it for game two. Three and three. So now we're in game three here. It's gonna start pretty quickly. Didn't have much say in the matter of where we started. A couple bucks here. That's kind of annoying. But we do get the muscle stack and we'll get this health kit as well. And quick shell the grenade. And unfortunately, if Ashleen actually wants me to follow her somewhere, I'll have no idea because all of her pings can mean anything at any time. <laughs> so you guys, you just walk around. Just walk around, you'll find some gold spears. You'll find some gold weapons. It's no big deal. Now, I know what you're thinking. Fear, you still don't have a shotgun. What are you talking about? But I like to think of it as the no shotgun challenge. You know, you think this is me not having a shotgun, but the way I see it is, it's the no shotgun challenge. Now, I do have the black shotgun now. So we do have a shotgun, but we were doing the no shotgun challenge for a little while. Just like this Bruce is doing the runaway challenge. So we're running into people who are teaming up here. Four people from the same clan. Well, this will be fun. Okay, Ashleen is gonna get split up from me here, so hopefully she's okay. I'll do what I can. I'm gonna have to pop a health kit here. Actually gonna try really hard to win this because this bothers me so much when people team together. Like I understand, you know, you run into your friends or clanmates. 
but walking together 4v2 that's not cool just wait for uh, wait for trios you know okay I'm pretty sure this Duke has no health kits okay we get him down I don't know what happened to the other pepper I think Ashleen took the other pepper out so it's just him and the level 10 pepper now which should be doable we'll give him a little sleeper emote yeah yeah get wrecked you guys got wrecked there's no way around that one three peppers and a duke pure 4v2 great job ash she took care of that other pepper quite impressive quite impressive battle side note I definitely think Pepper needs a nerf. She's way too strong right now. And it's not that she's been buffed in any of these updates. She's very rarely been touched. It's just that all these other changes over time have made her so strong. Molotov buff, the Jungle Shoes nerf, the Duke and Buck nerf. All, all these things have just made Pepper way too strong these days. So last two players, we got some Bucks here. And we're Shelly. Closing it out gracefully with a third win. Surviving that 4v2 once again. Great job, Ash. So we're hanging in the fourth game now. Looks like there's a bunch of GM3 players in this one as well. So it should be an interesting battle. I love showing you guys. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I guess she wanted me to pick the bow up. Anyway. Um, yeah, I like showing you guys some higher level games. You know, a lot of people say, oh, Fear, you know, you're just killing level 10s and level 8s and you're level 16 and this is boring to watch. So hopefully with these games, with these level 16s and whatnot, they're more interesting to watch. I, I believe these are friends of Ash, so I'm going to let them live for now. And uh, hopefully we can fight them at the end and get a nice battle in. Quick shelling that legendary guards, legendary bomb, and we do find the spear. Not very useful on Shelly, but you know you take what you can. I really don't want to walk with these two players here. I would much rather go our separate ways. So hopefully they don't follow us either. They're just spinning around here, having a good time in the middle. Not really worrying about much. I would like to find an extra health kit, and I see a silver bow up there on the right. It looks like Ash is getting attacked. We'll take care of whoever that is eventually. crazy how vampire teeth can have such an impact on Shelly. So, looks like there's some Larrys over here that want to take a fight. Some pretty aggressive Larrys. And Ash goes down, but I think we're okay for now. That health kit landed in a lucky spot, so we were able to pick that up. And despite these barricades, I think we can still get the job done. Shelly in the fire is not too much of an issue. Her passive is so strong. Reducing her damage, taken from all sources. You do get knocked back by this Ollie, but again, having the Igloo to walk through should not be an issue, and I think those Larrys went down. Pretty crazy to, to have survived all of that. We'll see if we can close this game out. A 
We're still saving these last two guys, this Duke and Lizzie, for a final battle if possible. So it looks like there's just that Jade left over there now. Sorry, buddy. I do want to get this health kit. I think it'll be very important here. I think taking Lizzie out in this fight is the most important thing right now, aside from not getting stunned. And we are able to close it out. Great fourth win. Not a lot of kills again, but still very satisfying. Now for this last game, I will do some shout outs. I'm gonna do them off of the most recent video, the Donna first look. Shout out to DragonHF. He says, I love that you don't extend the length of your videos for a whole lot of rambling for nothing. You keep it short, clear, and digestible, and the video and editing quality is there. Amazing job as always, keep it up. Thank you, Dragon, thank you so much. You don't know how much that means to me. Um, and yeah, I totally, I totally hear what you're saying. I know there's a lot of other YouTubers who include whatever their video is about in it, but there's also tons of other stuff you might have to sift through to get to that content. And I try and keep my videos as straightforward as possible, and I always will strive to do that. Shout out to FTC Dragon. Shout out to Zuba Gaming Channel. Shout out to Watermelon. Says I'm still watching, I haven't played Zuba in months. Hey buddy, I'm glad you're still here. Hope you find your way back into the game sometime. Shout out to Ja Rich. Shout out to Knight Mecha Crow. Shout out to Tasha Hoda. Shout out to Ryuno2097. Shout out to Woody Woo. Shout out to Giovanni Hernandez. Shout out to Lar Lar. Shout out to Timothy Fisher. Shout out to Aryan Boss. Shout out to Greg Bloom. Shout out to Spence. Shout out to Aline Sal. Shout out to Irina. Shout out to Nathan. Shout out to the Zellar. Shout out to Flip the Dog. Shout out to Jonathan Sefuentes. Says great review over the video. Thanks, man. Shout out to Inside Out Gaming. Why don't they say how much damage her bite does? I'm not sure. I don't know how much damage it does either. It's not as much as a fin chomp, that's for sure. But it does do a little damage. Shout out to Pixel Wave. Shout out to Aryan Omar. Shout out to Outcast. Says players asking us to nerf Snorkel. Yeah, let's nerf Igloo. <laughs> So true. When is Snorkel gonna get nerfed? It's way overdue. Should have been nerfed months ago. Shout out to Nancy Silva. Shout out to Kai Vu. Shout out to Frog. Shout out to Night Ape. Shout out to Roblox Riot. Shout out to Mary Pink. Just gave a heart. Thanks, Maria. Much love to you in Italian Zoo. Shout out to JCX Code. Shout out to Red Silver. Shout out to Yeet Gaming. Shout out to Max Dax. Shout out to Andrew. Shout out to Katya. Shout out to Pines Plays. Shout out to Godmaster5000. Shout out to Kim Reyna. Shout out to Spike Desert. Shout out to Muhammad Azam. And shout out to Lexi Hayes. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. That's gonna do it for this video. Had so much fun. Shout out to Ashleen, of course. Exordium officer, clanmate, and friend. And until the next one, happy hunting.